Hello, my name is Karen Bretz and I work for a cookery school called howtoboilwater.com and we're based in Berkhamsted, Hertfordshire. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious recipe. Today I'm going to make Thai baked crab fish cakes. And to do that, I've got my crab, white crab meat in my food processor. I've chopped up some white fish and we're using equal quantities and that goes in the food processor. I'm going to add some Thai red curry paste, soy sauce and one egg. And finally, I'm going to add some kaffir lime leaves, which uh, come like this, but you can buy them ready prepared in the supermarket. Um, or if you can get them fresh, and they are quite difficult to get fresh, but you can get them from your local ethnic supermarket. Just take out the vein in the center, layer them up, and they can just be torn roughly and go into the food processor. Um, we've also got some uh, palm sugar, which again you get from uh, most supermarkets now. If you haven't got palm sugar, it's a bit like demerara sugar, you can, can use any sort of sugar, but that's an authentic Thai ingredient. And the final ingredient is some coriander, which just needs to be roughly chopped and then into the food processor. You just blitz all this up together. Once it's nicely blended, put it into a large mixing bowl. And then you add in some sliced, uncooked green beans. And they really add to add a little bit of texture and colour to your, to your mixture. Give it a good mix round. Take a small amount in your hand. You can make whatever size you like. We like to make um, them just a little bit bigger than a 10p piece. But if you want to, you can make them bigger and serve one as a main course, as a starter, or you can make them smaller and serve them as a, a canapé. Now that they're all shaped up, we're going to take them over to our, our frying pan, um, which has got a little bit of oil in. To test that the oil is hot enough, all you do is hold your hand over the pan until you can't keep it there any longer and you have to move it away. And we're ready now to, to put the fish cake into the pan. Be careful not to overcrowd your pan because it will reduce the temperature of the hot oil. You're not cooking the fish cakes here. What you're doing is you're just getting a little bit of firmness, a little bit of colour on each side. Um, after a couple of minutes, just flip them over to the other side. and allow them just to crisp up for another minute. Then all you do is remove them from your frying pan onto a lightly greased baking sheet. And pop them into the oven. They just stay in the oven for 10 minutes and then they will be cooked through. And as you can see, they look a lovely golden brown colour. Just pop them in your little serving dish. We're going to serve them as a little nibble to go with a, a drink. And this is a sweet and sour carrot, cucumber and chilli little relish that is very quick and easy to make. You just boil up some rice wine vinegar, sugar and water and add chopped cucumber, carrot and chilli and it makes a lovely little dressing just to drizzle over your Thai fish cakes. And then I like to put a nice little bit of coriander in the dish. And that is how to make Thai baked crab fish cakes. Thank you.